that's still kind of weird that it's only two years ago that I came out as bi and I had considered myself gay most of my life. You just, you just don't hear about that. It's usually the opposite sort of thing. It's someone straight and they came out as bi, or someone who said they were straight who comes out as gay, but if they, when people say that, it's just, it says to me that they're really bi, or, you know, on the Kinsey scale somewhere. Um, it's just weird. You know, prior to two years ago, if someone would have asked me about my sexuality, I would have just jumped up and down saying, no, I'm just gay, just gay, no attractions at all. And I didn't let myself have the attractions. And it's just weird. It's weird. I, I just sometimes, it, what goes through my mind sometimes is I wonder how many other men who call themselves gay are really not really a six on the Kinsey scale. They're really a five or a four or something. It just makes me wonder. I've wondered the same thing about a lot of straight people, but it just... So many gay people will say, no, I am I only have attractions to men. I only, only, only have attractions to men. And they'll jump up and down to, to, to claim it. I just kind of wonder, you know? I just sort of... I just sort of think that people are born with a predisposition to be able to have other attractions than the... what would be... evolutionarily uh, beneficial to... Uh, keeping up the species, but um, I just think a lot about how the nurture part of it can change the eventual outcome. Um, you know, I'm I'm of the opinion that sexuality is both nature and nurture. Do I have any actual proof of this? No. I don't have actual proof of this. I mean, there's there's been more and more studies done on epigenetics, but it's not solid yet. I do wonder how ridiculous some of the religious arguments will be if or when we find some solid evidence of what makes someone what they are on the Kinsey scale. You know? How ridiculous will religious people get? What length will they go to still demonize people that aren't 100% straight? And will they still try to claim that it's some sort of choice? I mean, even right now, there are some that will admit that, well, yeah, the, the attractions might be what they are, but it's your choice to go through with it in action. And I'm just like, oh, fuck you. I mean, that's like the people that say, well, you know, you were always free to get married to a woman. It's just like, what the hell? What the hell? And I was having a discussion with someone. Uh, uh, well, I should say I could say last night, but it's already three in the morning, so I should say the night before last night. <laughs> um, who was just saying, you know, it's strange the way that some of our laws are, where you know, where things were kind of supposed to be loosely based on British common law. And, you know, since there wasn't anything really in place stating that marriage was supposed to be between a man and a woman, 
that gay marriage, I mean, we shouldn't have had to make specific exceptions and say, well, yes, a man and a man or a woman and a woman should be able to marry. It's, uh, it's kind, it is kind of odd when you think about it that we had to make these specific designations of this and that people weren't just already able to do it. Since there wasn't anything written specifically, at least originally, that said that you, sh you can't do it, you know? Originally, anyway. Or to my knowledge, originally. Maybe, maybe there's some history I don't know about with that. Um, but it's kind of interesting. I still blame so much, and maybe I'll be, I'm wrong on this too, but I still blame a lot of crap that we've been dealing with, especially with Dominionism and Reconstructionism on uh, McCarthyism of the 50s. You know, it's when we put in God we trust on the rest of our money. Uh, the, the first part of our money that it got put on was in the late 1800s, but in God we trust got put on the rest of our money, and then we changed the Pledge of Allegiance to put under God in it during that, that time in the 50s as well. And it's just like, you know, everything was this scare of, of, of communism, and, and they're going to take away our religion. We have to become more religious. You know, it's just weird. And now my mind is starting to wander towards uh, <laughs> things like Leave it to Beaver and this... You know, it was, a, it was sort of a form of political correctness back then that was shoved forth for, you know, well, you can't say anything other than that or it would, it would be bad for society. And now there seems to be these pushes that are very similar in, in, in actuality when you really break it down to that leave it to beaver kind of mindset with how, I mean, I talked about how it forced quotas into, into our enter entertainment. And the more we start to go towards trying to make sure that every demographic is represented equally, it starts to go back towards a leave it to beaver kind of mindset, doesn't it? You know, this thing where, well, you have to say it, say things and do things this way or it will be bad for society. It will be bad for society. <laughs> do you want to play a game? Anyway, um, and I guess I'm done with this rant. <laughs> Let's end it with that, that word that I always ended with. Anyway. 